Okay, so um, what I'm going to do first is here, let's just set up a project. So I've got everything working correctly. Set project. And actually, I need a new project. What was I thinking? Cancel. Uh, file. And project window. And here, let's see. So new and location. Uh, come on. Flip it in here and we can go to projects and great. Select, done. And I'll just call this uh, iQuad. Okay. <clears throat> and anything else? I don't care. Done. Okay. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create some geometry. Um, and I'm going to make a sphere. Um, my sphere might appear really, really small. And it's because my grid, uh, my grid is set quite large. I'll just go in here and uh, just for the, I'll just reset the settings for the demo. There we go. Um, and so we want this to be 2.4 centimeters, roughly. So I'm just going to take this and do like a 1.2. That just makes it a bit bigger and it makes it fit. Okay, great. Um, and I'm going to rotate it. I'm holding down J when I'm rotating. <clears throat> and J triggers the uh, the step snap, so that this is just exactly 90 degrees. Okay, uh, and I'm just going to look at the amount of geometry I've got on this. So there's an axis. I find that the 20 is always kind of hard to work with, so I just tend to avoid it. Um, I like, in this case here, I'm going to use 16 because it demos better. It's easier. 32 is a little bit heavy. I think I did that in a class, and it was too heavy. I'm going to bring this down here to say... <clears throat> See, if I bring it down to 12, I start losing a lot of shape and I start getting kinky edges. So maybe I'll bring this back up and let's just pump it up to say 24 to start off with. Okay, <clears throat> and then um, I can get rid of some uh, edges that I don't need, like right here. God. And I'm just going to hold down shift and right click and delete edge. And I'll do the same thing here. I'll hit G. I'll get rid of it. So I'm wondering. You know what, because I want more in the front of the eye. Just hold on a second. Before I do this, I'm just going to leave that there for a second. And I'm going to pump that up. I'll pump it up to 32 this way. There we go. And that's just going to give me a lot more geometry in the front of the eyeball. Okay, so there's the middle line. I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm just going to take this one, maybe this one. I'll delete that out. I'm just going to hit G, repeat the last tool command. Get rid of that. And then as I get closer to the front here, I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, because this is where we're going to need our big concentration of um, geometry for smoothing and keeping it looking fresh. And here, I'm just going to hit G and I'll remove this back here. <clears throat> and this back side of the eye, no one's going to see it. So um, it doesn't matter quite as much. Did I hit something by accident? Oh, okay. And I'm just going to try to reduce the amount of geometry that looks nice and square. So I'm going to leave that alone. And I think I'm just going to leave that alone back there. Okay, the front of the eye, I want to change some of the geometry here. Um, let's just hit that so I get rid of this tool. <clears throat> and I'm just going to get rid of those edges. I'm going to leave kind of the crosshairs as I'm doing this. Okay, so leaving the crosshairs alone. Um, if you do, eh, no, I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to go ahead and I'll just kind of cut across here. Uh, and then this one across there there <clears throat> and that gets rid of that really stressed out vertice right there at the front um, and if I do want to make some of these things like uh, say this one here these are kind of still looking quite rectangular uh, if I get the insert edge loop tool which lives under mesh tools insert edge loop tool if you hold down shift when you do it, it pops out and tries to correct the geometry flow so it keeps it kind of round um, I think I'm going to pop one more in here, really close to that one. And that way, when I go in here and I grab this vertice here, and I grow my selection, I'm holding down Control and I'm right-clicking to get that. And I can hit G and do it again. <clears throat> and um, let's see, I've got a shortcut button, and I'm trying not to show you that. So none of my shortcuts. Um, I'm going to go to... Surfaces. I'm going to go to Sculpt Geometry Tool, and there's Relax, and I'm going to hit Flood. 
there and it kind of floods it out and evens out the space on that <clears throat> and I don't even have to use this the sculpty part of the tool um, and then I might just go in here I'm gonna grab my soft selection I'm holding down B and I'm middle clicking to uh, drag it and make it bigger and we're gonna make that front of the eyeball bulge out a bit okay and I could spend some time making this even better but I think this gets our point across okay done actually that might be too much what am I thinking that's interesting. Uh, let's go and take this back. Feels like I'm pushing it too much. <clears throat> okay. Um, and if I do hit, you know, three, it's going to smooth out quite well. It gives you more subdivisions. I'm going to hit one while I'm doing this. Okay. When I'm modeling, I always like to be in the one mode. It saves you from any false beliefs of what your geometry is actually doing. Okay. And um, next thing. Let's see, we've got this, this here is going to be the cornea. Okay, and I'm just going to freeze it out and kill the history. And I should save this because I like to crash. And when I crash, it isn't pretty. I underscore zero one. Um, I could give that, like sometimes I, when I'm doing this, I, as I name things out, I'm just going to like say like cornea at the very end here. I keep it really short, keep my names of my uh, scenes really, really short. Um, and just, but it gives me a hint of what the hell I did, because if you have just a number there, I can't remember that. I have too many things going on in my head, I can't remember. Okay, so <clears throat> a little trick right now is to go in and actually lay out my UVs. It's gonna save me some time later. Currently, um, the default UVs are looking like this, so this is horrible. Um, here, let's try and make this small like that. Okay, <clears throat> and I'm just going to take the UVs, I've got a little button right here, uh, but I, it's right here, camera based. And I just went and quickly hit the UVs. I'm going to take this one back here, let's turn off the uh, soft selection. I just hit B on the keyboard to turn off soft selection. Whenever you see everything bright and yellow, that usually means you've got soft selection on somehow. And I'm going to go in here, I'm going to cut this. Boop. There, so I got the two halves that I want. And um, then I can grab all my UVs and I'm just gonna hit the modify unfold. Thinks about it for a second and crashes. No, it didn't crash. Um, and then I'm gonna hit modify layout. Actually, that's interesting. Why did it give me that little thing right there? That's strange. Maybe there is some soft selection that happened. I don't know. That was weird that it did that thing just now. It warped it a bit. Anyway, <clears throat> so next thing I want to do is I want this front section here to be in the center here. So I'm just going to hold down uh, X as I'm moving, and I can snap it to the center. Funny little thing sometimes when you unfold, it goes. I, I like it when it's kind of like um, straight in here. It looks like it's a... Uh, kind of on an angle for some reason when it unfolded it twisted it around I'm just gonna do something like that it's not really a big deal but it is to me um, <clears throat> and I'm just gonna scale that up and I'm not gonna quite touch the edges this one back here this is the back side so no one's gonna see this right so I'm gonna make this smaller and I'm gonna tuck it in over here Later on, I'll probably be making this thing like totally red or something like that, but you're not really going to see it. If you're going to see it, then I'd worry about it, but you're not. I'm just going to make sure it's inside of its UDEM space. Okay, great. Um, and so we're done. The UVs. Okay, we got it inside the 0 to 1, and we're happy. <clears throat> and I'm just going to delete my history. Hotkeys, Alt Shift D, just delete my history. Tell me at 9 minutes. Okay. So I've got the cornea made. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a duplicate. And I'll just scale that duplicate down a little bit. And here, let's hit four so you can see what the hell I'm doing. Making it a wee bit smaller. There we go. <clears throat> and that is going to be my sclera. Done. Um, and... Let's see, I might freeze that out. You know, sometimes what I also will do here is I've noticed I, if I put it at an exact number, it's a little bit easier for me to find again. So 
nah, I don't care. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm just going to freeze this so it's scaled out. Okay, great. Um, let's make another duplicate. <clears throat> this time I'm going to isolate it. There's a little button right here where the hotkey is control one. I've isolated it. This piece is going to be my retina. Okay. And for my retina, let's go in here. I'm going to get rid of this face and this one over here. I'm just going to delete them. Get rid of that. Take these ones and I'm going to grab my scale tool and do it inside out. If it doesn't do it inside out like what I just did, it's probably because on the tool, the prevent negative scale is on. Or Yeah, so it's checked on. I turned it off. Done. Okay. And <clears throat> what else? If I hit five, that's looking okay. And see, I can maybe make this thing a little bit smaller. And I'm going to just tuck it back here. Actually, just hit four so you can see what the hell I'm doing. This should be inside of the sclera. Okay, and we're done. Um, this one here, actually, I might do one more thing. The UVs are kind of small, so I'm just going to go and make them bigger so it occupies more space. The other ones, I want those to be exact. So let's get rid of that and that. Um, <clears throat> and, okay, we're good. Uh, I'm going to take this. I'm going to make another duplicate. And this duplicate, when I pull it forward, actually, I should be going other way here I'm just gonna hit center pivot on this thing <clears throat> um, and so this is gonna be my iris and the iris um, the iris can use a lot of geometry so I'm gonna make this smaller here okay and here let's just do a little bit of modeling and isolate it it's gonna grab this outside edge I'm just gonna move that back a bit here um, might move this one back a little bit too. Actually, this one here, just in case I see some edges or something like that. Remember too, if you use the insert edge loop tool, if you hold down shift, boonk, you can pop it up a little bit like that, so it kind of rounds out. Okay, nice. And then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna grab uh, the faces in the center area here. Delete that. Get rid of that. <clears throat> just gonna grab this area here and. I'm going to pull that back. I'm going to put a bit of soft selection on this one. Pull it back. Actually, it might be too much soft selection. And we'll see. And then I'll go and I'll scale it. Let's turn off soft selection while I'm doing this. There we go. <clears throat> Maybe not totally 100% anatomically correct, but should be good enough. Pull it forward a bit. Yeah, no one's going to notice that. Um, and if I do feel like putting in more edge loops here to kind of smooth that area out, uh, also this is going to be better for when I sculpt it. I'll just have a bit more geometry in here. I'm going to get the insert edge loop tool again and do my little trick. And it looks like that did something funky in there that I wasn't expecting, so I'm just going to turn on soft selection and scale that down. Scale that down. Up. Okay, good enough. <clears throat> okay, and let's just go and delete that. Freeze the transformations. I always remember that freezing your transformations um, does help you out when you're trying to lay out UVs too. So this is in my retina. This is my iris. Done. And let's see what we got. If I go and I look at them all, and I hit uh, four, so I can see the wireframe. I feel like I want to make that a little bit bigger, but we'll see. like that <clears throat> okay and let's just freeze it and I also might put this in here for uh, I might put a group on it and I'm gonna call it my um, my underscore geo underscore group okay so there it is there's my geometry for this eye and I do believe all the UVs are pretty much laid out I should maybe check the iris and um, yeah, that should be more than enough. I think um, we should be good on that. So let's stop there. And I'm going to try and do a little bit of texture action next. So I'll stop the video here. <laughs>